<laughs> the immigration recruitment uh, currently ongoing. The federal government has bad stammerers mm. and applicants with bad teeth. <laughs> the Civil Defense Correctional Fire and Immigration <laughs> Services Board, which is the federal government organ in charge of the paramilitary services, has bad persons who stammer hmm. or have gross malformation of teeth from applying for superintendent, inspectorate, and assistant cadre positions in the ongoing Nigerian Immigration Service recruitment also bad from applying are persons with cross eyes <laughs> bow legs hmm. knocked knees or k legs if you like mm -hmm. flat foot limp legs and those suffering from obesity amputation of any part of the physical body hearing impairment hunchback medical challenges or any physical deformity are not mentioned in the statement and also you know that due to the rigorous physical exercise of course pregnant women don't even bother to apply all right <laughs> now according to the document those applying for superintendent rank must have a medical degree and must have completed their national youth service core program and then if you are a male you have to be about five foot four inches tall then for female five foot two yeah. inches in my own opinion, I think that's rather short. <laughs> in my opinion, but then quickly, it's five yes. seconds mm -hmm. in. Yes. I think, I think um, there are people in this government that are misadvising this government because right now you're abusing the yeah. self worth, the integrity of Nigerians. Yeah. You're abusing everything that makes a human being a human being. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Oh. Because now they have brought it into the immigration service. Trust me, tomorrow, private sector will take it up mm. and you cannot stop it. Mm. So I don't understand, the government that should be encouraging people with disability to get employed is now the one that is not going to employ them. Mm. And we're saying that this is a country that wants to move forward. Uh, no, that's no. Not quickly. Yeah, I, <laughs> the issue is that when has immigration become military and, and in terms of army mm. soldiers that are even more rigorous and they still take these ones i think the, like uh, chief said we have a problem in the mentality of those ones who are bringing out these laws because you can't discriminate it's even against international law you can't discriminate against somebody when you're employing more so it's coming into federal so you, you, it's even against international standard. Mm. Uh, and I'm looking at it from another angle. These offices, they have office, they have what we call operational base and administrative. administrative yeah. Most of these ones that had some deformities are always put in administrative okay. offices. Mm. And you don't have any right to say that they should not be part of Massive, 10 seconds. Yeah, without wasting time, it is wrong and bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's against the international law. Mm. Like I said, they have offices. Mm. They could be deployed in admin services and things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same thing is happening between the h and and the grill holders, which today they will tell us that if um, I say tomorrow is the same thing. Yeah. Why should they come at federal institutions? Mm. It is very bad. Very bad. All right, you know, I, I even understand, you know, the physical build, you know, of men of the of the uniform. But then, what has my teeth? The formation of my teeth got to do with it. Like, this this uh, movement now is for let people see it. <laughs> it is possible that it has been fueled by their friends. Okay, I'm not that's, sure. That's, that's the issue. That is the the must have been fueled by themselves. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming out today. Mazi.